So, today I wanted to uh, address some things. Like, <sighs> okay, my hair. Sorry about that, my battery died. I had to go fish around for some more batteries. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, uh, I started getting compliments on my natural hair, wearing my hair in different hairstyles. So that kind of gave me confidence, confidence to wear um, it out and be more adventurous, you know, because I would watch the YouTube guru, 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 guru. Um, and they would always have their hair in such pretty natural style, so I wanted to try that. So I started trying that, and people started saying, hey, I like your hair, or hey, this is nice looking. So uh, the more I wore my hair out, the more I was like, oh, something must have turned of it looking the same. So I was like, I know what I do. I'll put in a rinse. So um, I was very, very, very studious about this rinse. Like I looked online and I did YouTube searches and I went to different beauty supply stores to try to find the right color, right? I wanted the right color. I wanted burgundy. And burgundy wasn't gonna show up on my hair, but I knew it was gonna leave like a wash of the color. I knew when I went out in the sun, it was gonna be very bright. So after a whole bunch of him and hawing, I finally found the right color. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I did it and it bled everywhere, but I was really happy with the results. I was like, I did something, you know, like I have a burgundy red, so everybody look at my hair, oh my God. Like I went out in the sun, you can see it, and I was like, it's different, something different. But the only thing about that is that, you know, rinses don't last and they do bleed. So every time I was deep conditioning my hair, it was getting everywhere. So I was like, you know what? Um, I think I have done this thing. Because I, I'm, let me tell you something. Once you color your hair, you see, they say it's like getting a tattoo. Once you get a piercing, you're gonna get a hell of a piercing. Once you get a tattoo, you gotta get something else to balance, you know? Once you pop that color cherry, for lack of a better term, forgive my analogy, it's like a color. And you're like, oh my god, look at her hair, look at her hair, look at her hair. And then you start thinking to yourself, man, my hair's natural. Yeah, I know how to take care of my hair. I condition and do all this stuff and I dust and you know, search and destroy method and all that stuff. And no silicone. So I'm taking really good care of my hair. Why can't I enjoy my hair? So I convinced myself that my hair would be fine and I'm gonna color it. And so I had just gotten out of the shower and I was a little bit shell-shocked. I had never seen my hair this color before. It was, yikes. But as you can see, it's a little orangey at the ends and it was a lot lighter at the roots because of course the color processed quicker because of the heat of my scalp. But um, after I did a protein treatment, I bleached my hair uh, for about 25 to 30 minutes and I came out with this color. Um, I protein treat or I used the effigy treatment once again and then I used a toner to take away that orangey color. And then I put the... Um, purple on and uh yeah it that was the beginning <laughs> so uh, before i did anything i made sure that i deep conditioned my hair and then i did a really heavy protein treatment with my effigy and uh i did the bleaching treatment and then i did another effigy treatment because i'm afraid you know, when you get out of the shower, like you're, the bleach is sitting on your hair and you're like, wow, just track and see if your hair goes, oh my God. And then you go and you do something for 10 minutes and you're like, let me go check my hair. And it's freaking blonde and you're just freaking out. So anyway, after I'd done all that, I uh, wanted to use my ultraviolet mint. This is actually, what is this, vampire red. I, I got plans for this thing, boy. I'm using something. I'm doing something. I got the itch to dye again. That's even why, that's even why I started doing video on color in my hair. But uh, I use Manic Panic Ultraviolet, which is actually the color of this. And um, it came out awesome and I loved it. It was so awesome. But the thing about it was it bled. It was, I mean, it's just like, this is just like a rinse. It's a vegetable based dye. It's not permanent, so it's going to run. I do a lot of deep conditioning and I, I add a lot of moisture to my hair because my hair is naturally dry. 
so uh, I was having a lot of problems with this. So um, after I had went purple and then I had gone red for a little bit, I decided that I was done with the with the semi permanence and I wanted something a little bit more permanent. Uh, five. I bought a light golden brown. So basically, what, where I had bleached, I had deposited color by putting on a light golden brown. And then I went back in and I used uh, more bleach and I bleached in highlights. And then I used the toner, which you have to use activate or developer with, which is also damaging to your hair. So at the end of the day, I hate that phrase. I hate saying that. People say it all the time. But anyway, I had like quadruple process in my hair. I had bleached it, and then, um, I don't really count the semi permanents because they're not really damaging to your hair. But I bleached it, then I dyed it, then I highlighted it, then I low-lighted it, and then I highlighted again. So that's like a lot of processes. And I, I, I freaked out. Rue had, a, Rue had a sale at Sally's. I picked up everything Rue made. The porosity control, corrector and conditioner, moisture recovery, I picked up their Mendex. I picked up their little spray vials and all this stuff and I just went nuts because I was like, oh my God, what did I do to my hair? I knew I should have just kept the wig on. So that's actually what I did. After I was finished wearing my hair out for a month or two and um, I realized that, oh wow, my hair is really dry. Like I was so scared after I washed my hair, after coloring it, it was so it clumped together. Like I couldn't even wash it right. It was just one clump. It, sh it felt like straw. It felt horrible. I felt like my hair is gonna dissolve right off in the shower. That's how bad it felt. And then um, I just kept using uh, Apogee products, the Keratin 2 Mint, um, the Mendex, the Porosity Control Corrector. And I'd say over the course of a month of deep conditioning and just really babying my hair, like not wearing it out at all. That's when I really started wearing wigs heavily, was to really protect my hair, because I was like, this is it. If I wear my hair out, it's gonna flake off. And uh, so I started corn rolling my hair and wearing the wigs. And I would co-wash every morning, or every, you know, every evening or whenever. And my hair slowly, slowly started to not feel so I don't even know what happened to it because I know once it's damaged it's damaged so I don't know but somehow I nursed it back to some kind of a life some kind of a half life <laughs> so that's the reason why it's one of the reasons why I wear wigs a lot because my hair is color treated and it's damaged I mean I don't know I don't know how else to say it my hair is drier than the rest of my hair that hair is more brittle than the rest of my hair and that's another reason why I only did a portion of the front because when I was bleaching my hair I was like no no I'm not gonna do my whole head just in case I screw up and, and if I have to cut it I can cut like a giant bang you know. when I was doing even when I was doing the keratin silky curls on keratin treatment hair that was not a good experience for my hair my color treated part at all because when you use that treatment, you have to use it on naked hair, on clarified naked hair at that. And blow dry it, it was a hot mess. I mean, I wasn't even paying attention until I, you know, I was like, what is this dust in the air? And it was actually the ends of my hair breaking off, the color treated portion of my hair breaking off. So things that I would do differently, if I were ever, to bleach my hair again, which right now I'm on the fence about because I love color so much. I would never do as much to it as I did. Um, first of all, the color is high maintenance. Blonde is so high maintenance. You have got to stay on top of blonde or you will have no hair. You have got to keep up on your moisture. You've got to keep up with your protein. You can't really use any heat. You can't really straighten it like you want to. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't see the highlights in your hair unless your hair is straightened. So it's kind of a catch-22. So that's why I really don't, I straighten my hair for lint checks. I don't straighten my hair just because I want to see how long it is or whatever. I just, I'm curious every maybe four or five months I'll, I might strengthen or strengthen. I might straighten my hair, uh, but 
I really love color. Est, this juice juicing that I've been doing, it's under attack, y'all. A good couple of our friends of ours uh, decided to uh, celebrate and they took us out and we kind of ate. So that was day six. And I had been doing really good up until then uh, with only one minor hiccup. So I'm at a crossroads here. It's Christmas in a couple days, I'm at Christmas. Thanksgiving is in a couple days and I don't know if I should just blaze on through Thanksgiving or if I should halt and then pick it up after Thanksgiving, which you know what, I think I just convinced myself to do that just right now, I love to talk about it because it sounds like a really awesome idea to stop, like to start weaning myself off of it and then pick it right back up after Thanksgiving. That way I don't feel guilty during Thanksgiving because I already feel guilty enough during Thanksgiving because I'm gonna eat like a champ. I'm gonna eat like I'm gonna win something. Get it in, you can feel it like the wind. You can do what you do, but stay who you've been.